For this activity, we are going to learn how to make the nets of various polyhedra, or polyhedrons as some call them. Click on Start a New Drawing File, and it will be three-dimensional, and let's go ahead and leave Cube selected. I am going to change the edge size to four to make it smaller, but you can leave it as a six if you wish. And the other thing I'm going to do is close this option over here so that we don't clutter the space. Go to Maintenance, click down, and a drop-down menu with all kinds of options will appear. Um, within each of these, you can make, you can create points, you can do all kinds of things for points, angles, lines, planes, and so on. We're going to go to 3D Specials and make a net. The one I want you to select on is semi-automatic. I'm going to move the make a net instruction box over to the left and the first thing I have to select is an edge for the first rotation. Go ahead and click that and select edge AB. Note when you mouse over it the option to select it appears. So go ahead and select that. The next choice you need to make is to select a vertex in the base plane. Since you selected line a edge AB, you must select a vertex that is in a plane containing AB. For instance, try selecting, click on this and try selecting point H and it will complain. Well, actually it didn't. Let's see whether it will work. Now it tells you that the base plane should be a side of the object. Retry. So go ahead and instead of selecting H, let's go ahead and select D, which is in the plane containing line AB. Now if we start, the figure will unfold to create its own net. And this is an opportunity that you have to show children of all ages, all grade levels, how a 3D object can be unwrapped to form its net. Uh, very often we give them opportunities to cut out the nets and form the objects, but they don't always see the reverse procedure. So this is a nice resource for you. What I'd like you to do now is go to Maintenance, Points, and here where it says show hide name, we're going to hide all point names so that we don't have the vertex labels anymore. If you click near to one of the edges of the object, a glue tab will appear. The further out you click, the fatter the glue tab. It also brings up um, a highlighted edge corresponding to the one to which the glue flap must go. Personally, I prefer not to have glue flaps because I think children often mistake them as part of the object. At this point, you can go ahead and click on Copy Drawing to Clipboard and you can paste this object into a Word document. I'm not going to save my document. Instead, I am going to now show you how to make, give you the option of setting up a pyramid. So you can select whatever base plane you wish, and I would like you to go ahead and select regular polygon. This way you can decide how many edges you want in the base, how many vertices you want in the base. You might want to make it a pentagonal pyramid, in which case you would have a pentagon for the base with five edges. You can adjust the sizes of the edges in the base plane to whatever you wish them to be. And I would, if I were you, just go ahead and experiment. Um, if we draw the figure, you can now go ahead and 
use the same process as we, as we did for the cube to make the net for the pyramid. If you wish, you may close this option of showing different views since they are not, they are not required over here.